So welcome back Alien, this is Navin Reddy from Thalys for Learnings and in this video let's continue with the last thing which we have done which is HQL. So in the last video when we fired a query which is from student we got the entire table right and then we saved that into a list and everything was working. Then what we did is we applied a where clause where you are getting a unique result, it was working. But the moment you specify the columns, you know, we have specified roll number, name and marks, that's where the problem started, right? Because when you use select query, that means, or whenever you specify the select part, it means that you're not fetching the entire row, you're fetching a specific columns. It will not return you student object now. So what it will return is, it will return you the object. Now why object? Why not string integer? It's because roll number is integer, name is string and marks is integer. So if you want to have any type of data, we, are, we always go for object, right? And we are not getting one object, we are getting three objects, name, roll number, name and marks, right? So for that, we have to create an array. So we'll say object array. On the right hand side as well, we have to say object array, right? We have to typecast with the object array. And now, since we got an array, we cannot use normal student print, right? We have to use a loop here, we'll say loop, which is of type object. I can use enhance for loop here. We can say object O equal to student, okay, and let's print all the values. Let's say I want to print O, and if you run this code, you can see we got 7, name 7, and, and 49, right? So that's our record here. We have one more way, instead of, instead of using a loop, what we can do is we can say system.out.println, we can say O of 0, then we can use a colon here just to separate those things, we can say O of one, uh, oh, not O, it is student, right? So we'll say student of zero, student of one, and then plus student of two. That's that's our three records, right? So now it will you will get one row, which is uh, seven, name seven, and 49. So you, you, you can see that oh, there, was a, there was not a space between this. We wanted a space here, right? So we'll you a colon. Okay, that's perfect now. Let's run this and you can see we got the data as we want it. But let's say, um, so that's how you can fetch the, if you use a select thing. But let's say if I don't use a where clause now, let me remove a where clause from here. Now what will happen is the moment if I remove the where clause, it will not give you one record, it will give you the entire table, right? Now you cannot store that in one record. You need to use a list of students. So we'll say list here because again, we are going for the entire table. Let's import the package for that, which is java.util. And let's typecast it with list of objects, right? So that object array is for one row and list is for the list of rows, right? Again, now there's some change here. We will name it as students because we are not getting one student. And now we can use an enhanced for loop here. We can say uh, object array colon students. Uh, object array student colon students. Now what will happen is, from the student, student's list, it will fetch one, one student and you can print all the values. And that's what you're doing here, right? And let's run this code. You can see we got an error. Oh, now we cannot use the unique results, right? Because we are getting the entire list. So we have to use a list. That's perfect. Let's run this. And you got the entire table. So that's how we can use a select query with, uh, with, by using the object array. Uh, can we do something more here? Uh, let, let's try. Let's say I want to fetch. Okay, I want to fetch only those values which are greater than greater than uh, whose whose marks is greater than sixty. So again, we can do that. We can say where roll number is greater than sixty. Now, sometimes what happens? Or not roll number, but marks. Uh, marks is more than sixty. Now, what happens is, uh, let's say if you have two tables and both this table have the same row or same column. Example, let's say we have student and we have uh, a certification person, any, anything, and the, both the table has the same column. It would, there will be a confusion, right? Because we can use joints here, we can have two tables. So we have to be very specific which table marks I'm talking about. So that means we have to use allies with student. So I can say student s and we can say s dot marks, even we can do this. And if you run this code, you can see we got the output with, with all the all the students are having more than 60 marks, right? So that's how you can apply the where clause. Uh, can we do something more here? Yes, we can. Uh, let's say I want to 
fetch only one result, I want to find the sum of marks. We can do that, we can say sum of marks. Now in this scenario, we are not fetching one record or we are not fetching the, uh, we are not fetching the col columns, right? we are just fetching one list. So I will remove this, I will say it is just a list because we are not getting an array of objects, we will simply see a list and now we cannot say, say object array, I will say simply say object and we will just print student marks now. Okay. In fact, this column name is wrong, we will say marks and we will print marks. Will it work? And you can see we got the addition, but hold on, why do we need a list? Because we need, we, we know that we will getting only one thing, right? So we can simply say unique result and we can store that in the type object, right? And we can remove this with list from object and then we can say this is total marks and you can print the total marks, right? So when you know that you are getting only one data, you don't have to use a list here. Uh, we can change, I guess we can also do one more thing. Instead of saying object, can we say integer? Because we know it will be getting, we will be getting integer, right? Let's try. Okay, it works. And you can see the, we got the output as, oh, we got an error. It, it says it will return you a long. That's the problem. It will, sum returns you long, okay? So you cannot type cast with integer. You have to say long. On this side as well, you have to use long. And now let's run this and it works, right? So that's how we can use all those things. The important point to remember is whatever you can, what you, whatever you can do in SQL, the same thing is possible in HQL, okay, in a more efficient way, okay? So can we do one more thing? Let's, let's try. What we'll do now is, let's say I don't know this value. So this value will be coming afterwards. So let's say I have a variable here, which is int uh, marks and let's say the marks is 60. I cannot say marks, but let's say b. So int b is 60. And in here, I want to specify that variable. Okay, how do you specify a variable? It's very simple. We can say plus b, right? If you don't know the value, you can add it at the end. And let's run this. It works. But hold on, I'm not a big fan of concatenation, right? Because concatenation always gives you trouble. So if you remember, in JDBC, we have done with prepared statement. Can we use prepared statement here? Okay, we can try. So to use prepare statement here, we can simply say colon b and then our job is done. We don't have to, we don't have to use that uh, prepare statement stuff. We can simply specify colon, it will work. But hold on, before, before running the query, we have to change the value. So we'll say q dot set parameter for the first position, I will say the value is b. Or oh, not the first position, but for b, uh, let's see if, if this works. And... Uh, Okay. Is, is it zero? It starts with zero, I guess. Okay. Uh, there is one more issue. Parameters are based at one. Okay, that's weird. So what you can do is you can simply use B here and now it will work. So B will be replaced by B. Okay. So this B, which is colon B, will be replaced by this B. So whenever you want to specify the value later, you can actually use colon which will act as a positional parameters, which we, in JDBC, we have done with uh, prepare statement, right? The same stuff is here. So this is how cool HQL is. Okay, so in the in next video, we'll talk about some more stuff about HQL. So if you like my video, please click on the like button and do subscribe for 